Hi everyone, welcome to the Ivy Professional School and welcome to our Power BI series. So today we are going to learn about a very important useful measure that we can use on our Power BI reports that is dynamic ranking using parameters in Power BI. So let's get started with the video and see how we can achieve the results. So here I have the global superstore data. So I have the date table. Then I have the orders table. So category, city, country, cells, all these are there. And we then have people, returns, others, okay. So uh, let me first calculate, start with the calculation of a very simple uh, using a DAX measure. So we would need uh, something called total cells for our dynamic ranking to work. So this will be basically simple use of sum function on cells and hit enter. So we have the total cells. Okay. So you can sell, see the total cells is already calculated here. Now suppose let's go to home tab and bring in a matrix. Okay. And let's bring in subcategory. So we have subcategory here and also let's bring in the cells, the total cells. So you would be able to see uh, basically here the total cells have been done like the highest being uh, from the phone subcategory and then uh, the second highest being in copiers, then chairs, bookcases and so on. Okay. So if I want to particular assign a rank to this particular matrix uh, based on the total cells, so how can we achieve that? So let's use a DAX measure ranking. So I would be using the iterator function rank X. Okay. Then I use all and then we have the subcategory from the orders table. Then we have the total, uh, we are calculating it on the basis of total cells. And then we want to calculate it in a descending order, rank it in a descending order. Let's press descending and hit enter. Okay. So we have created a measure called ranking. So let's bring in ranking into this measure. Let's bring in ranking here. So you can see the ranking has been done on the basis of the highest number of cells. Second has been copiers, third has been chairs, fourth has been bookcase. Now, if we look at this particular matrix, uh, this is more of a static matrix. We cannot make any changes. Uh, if we want to show the top five or top three, out of four we cannot we are not able to show in this matrix so if you want to make it a dynamic ranking let's see how we can do that so we can go to the ranking that same measure and uh, probably we can uh, use a variable let's press shift enter and uh, let's use a variable and name is that as rank visible equals to rank X the entire DAX measure. Let's put shift enter and it should return me basically like if I use if if rank of visible uh, say supposedly less than equals to three that is it would show the top three for total cells. Okay. Now if we use this we can see it's showing only the top three. Okay. But this is again static one right. So we want to achieve something or create something on a report where the end user can basically use like as per their requirement, like if they want to see top three, top four, top five, top six, based on the number of subcategories which are there on the based on cells. So they should be able to do that. So let's see how we can make this now dynamic. Okay. So let's go to home tab and modeling and let's create a parameter. Okay, a numeric range. So let's name it as ranking option and the minimum I would select as 1 and maximum is 20, increment of 1. So let's create. Okay, so we have the ranking option here. Now let's go to ranking. So if we want to make it dynamic, uh, we would simply need to just instead of rank visible equals to 3, we can select ranking option value, then same total cells and the ranking measure is updated. Now let's remove total cells. So total cells is there. Let's remove total cells and let's bring in ranking. Okay. 
we have brought in ranking and now let's bring in this parameter and use it as a filter okay let's bring in filter and we have the ranking here okay now right now i don't have anything in this rank column so it's showing me a blank now let's bring it ranking option two so i want to see the top two right or two highest two subcategories which are giving me the highest cells okay so i can see here which is phones and copiers if i bring it to rank four then it would show me the four subcategories which are giving the cells based on the ranking and then accordingly five so the ranking option is now dynamic here now this is basically showing me top bottom like that so now if we want to put this top and bottom in the visual itself so how do, can we achieve that so let's go ahead in home tab and go to the data view and let's go to table tools go to new table and let's create a table let's name it as top bottom and second bracket so i want to have one value as top another value as bottom right so we create that and we have a new table top and bottom with the values okay let's go back to our report view okay now let's bring in this and let's select the top bottom value so now we have two options that is top and bottom so right now if we click on this there are no interactions or no changes on the visual so let's incorporate this top bottom value i will also try to sort it out that is top and bottom now let's see how we can make the changes in the ranking measure so that top and bottom is also incorporated in the visual so now that we have this one basically let's name it as top subcategory and we would need a similar formula so we are just going to copy paste this and instead of top i want it as bottom okay and here in this case since it's bottom so we would be selecting ascending instead of descending okay now what it would like me to return right so in that case we are basically going to use variable say ranking that should be equal to if we are going to use if function and if what is the logical test so in that case we would select selected value so the selected value top bottom value is equal to top then the result should be missing a bracket here so let's close this bracket so we should be getting it top subcategory else you are going to get bottom subcategory and it should return instead of ranking we should be returning ranking equals to ranking option and press enter so now this entire th measure is updated and now let's see how we can incorporate this so now if i select top 5 so it would give me top 5 if i select bottom 5 it should give me bottom 5 now if i change the rank option to 7 so when i click on top 7 it's giving me top 7 subcategories based on the cells and the ranking is done and again if i select it bottom so it's giving me the bottom subcategories based on the ranking option so this entire thing now in this report when you do it it becomes a dynamic ranking using parameters in power BI. based on that we can also create dynamic values using parameters so that we can select like top four subcategories 
we can also select bottom four categories we can also change this to five so we can accordingly select top five subcategory bottom five subcategory so this the ranking and the value we have made it dynamic using the parameter now if the end user wants the fields also to be dynamic that is the end user has an option to select from the fields that they want to check on the report suppose instead of subcategory they want to see by product name that which products are doing good or which products are giving high sales and based on that the ranking okay so in that case let's see how we can deal with that or how we can make changes in the tax measures to achieve those results now create a created a measure called ranking so this was the ranking that we had done so in order to make the fills also dynamic let's first go to modeling and create a new field parameter let's name the field as breakdown fills or breakdown field let's uh, select subcategory which we already have and also let's select product name and create a breakdown visual okay so here the field parameters have already been created now instead of this subcategory since it was static let's bring in we already had a subcategory so instead of subcategory let's bring in the breakdown field parameter okay so let's bring out this thing so we can simply go here and we can bring in in rows okay so now that we have this let's make the changes in the measure so that accordingly we can interact all of it so earlier this was the formula when we are using only the ranking or the values as dynamic now to make the fill parameter dynamic and to make it interact in the visual let's make the changes in the visual so this particular formula will remain same but instead of subcategories we will be using product name as well because we want to show it by subcategory and product name so end user can choose subcategory or product name so in this case we will change it simply to top product name and here we are going to change it to product name select product name similarly in bottom category subcategory we are going to select bottom product name right and similarly we are going to make the changes in product name now we will also need to add few more variables so let's add the variable as ranking And since the fill parameter is filled or contains uh, string values, we need to use the contain uh, string function in this case. So if the selected value contains string, then we select the breakdown fills which we just now created. And we already have subcategory. So in that case, what will be the logical test? So logical test will be if selected value, top bottom value is equals to top. then we are going to get the top sub category else we are going to get bottom sub category okay similarly we are again going to copy paste this particular variable formula and instead of top sub category we are going to put top product name okay instead of bottom subcategory we are going to use bottom product name okay and close bracket let's see
so now you can see this was already there the bottom of five now we can also select between the product name so now if we select product name we can also toggle between top products top five products at this bottom five products at this we can change it to six we can see the top six now bottom six now and top six is this we can again change it to seven and we can see top six product name is this and bottom product six is this okay so similarly top subcategory is nine subcategories are this and bottom nine subcategories are this so now the entire all of it becomes dynamic so the end user has an option to select from different fields also and accordingly put this in the report so that they can use any of the fields to show the ranking as per total sales in this case hope you have liked the part 2 video of this thank you